If you really want to get the best out of your Samsung Galaxy phone, turn off this setting. Let me show you. On your Samsung Galaxy phone, let's go ahead and open the settings. Then scroll all the way down until you see device care, battery and device care. Let's go ahead and click on that setting. Now let's go ahead and click on battery. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on power saving. So this setting should be on on your phone, okay? So let's go ahead and click on that setting. Then right here, guys, as you can see, the power saving action has different settings down here. The first one, turn off always on display. Uh, the second one, limit CPU speed to 70%. That's the setting that you have to turn off on your Samsung Galaxy phone if you really want to get the best out of it. And that's because as soon as your Samsung Galaxy battery charge goes down to 35%, your Samsung Galaxy phone will be really, really slow. So just make an example. If you are playing on your phone or you are using apps that require a lot from your phone, uh, you will notice it, guys. Your phone will be slow. You will start having lag on your phone uh, problems. So I recommend you to turn off the main setting right here for you to be able to turn off this setting, the limit CPU speed to 70%. Turn it off, then turn on the main setting. Now, as you can see, we have the CPU speed to 70% setting off. So as soon as your phone gets into battery saving mode, the only effect that your phone gonna get is gonna be the always on display is gonna be off, and this one, decrease brightness by 10%. And as you can see, if you read right here, it says power saving battery life. Okay, it says background network usage, syncing, and location checking will be limited. And also the screen refresh rate will go down to 60 hertz. That is good, you know what I mean? The only setting that I don't recommend you to have on is this one. Limit CPU speed to 70% because you might be doing something important on your phone and your phone will be really slow as soon as your phone battery charge goes down to 35%. After you made those changes, I recommend you to restart your phone. Just go to the main page, close all the pages, press the power button and restart your phone. Don't turn it off. Restart your phone. Um, that's all you have to do guys. Now when your phone battery charge goes down to 35%, your phone will keep the same speed. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.